Something spells out summer in New Zealand more than a myriad of blossoms dancing in the sunlight. While some of us are happy just to look and marvel at nature's colours, here at Fo Guang Shan Temple in Auckland, a visiting artist showed us how there's a lot more to do than just smell the roses. You could easily think these were paintings or embroidery. But a closer look reveals petal upon petal of intricate detail painstakingly put together. Shan Shan Xiao visited New Zealand last year with her exhibition of pressed flower art that's had a successful run till February this year. This is the first time the artist's work has left her home country, Taiwan, with New Zealand being the first stop on her world tour of Buddhist temples. I'm happy to introduce my work to New Zealand. New Zealand is such a great country with so many beautiful flowers. I thought I could share my experience with the New Zealand public. The temple is a dedicated promoter of oriental arts, and Shan Shan's work drew scores of visitors into her world of mystery riddled with complexity. Flowers can be used in different ways. There are so many styles of expression. When I started out, my style was more European, but now it's more Chinese with Buddhas, cranes, that sort of imagery. Dried flowers, reeds, barks and leaves are all layered to create a base thick enough to cut into tiny, intricate details. Each petal has its special quality. The veins, the texture and, of course, colour each play a critical part in designing Shan Shan's vivid fairy tales, Buddhist scriptures and incarnations of the Buddha. Since there's nowhere to learn this art form, it has to come from my creativity. It can be very challenging. A devout Buddhist, Shan Shan's art is clearly a labour of spiritual dedication. Across Asia, Buddhism places immense importance on meditation through action. An art like this is a result of pure focus and patience. It's kind of a meditation because when you do such detailed things, you really, really need to be mindful and to be peace and take the quite a long time that. So we consider that it's like the kind of the meditation practice in the Buddhism. And a meditation that has an effect on both the creator and the observer. Shan Shan never sells her work commercially, but instead she wants visitors to take away with them an experience of greater value. My main goal is that whenever people see my art, they do so with a heart of peace. I hope to continue to touch people's hearts.